I was literally the first girl that they sent internationally. Within like a couple of months, that's when I was walking in Paris Fashion Week for Balenciaga and Vivian Westwood and Jean-Paul Gaultier and everybody else. Amanda's the face of Topshop. She did Urban Outfitters. She walked probably the most shows of any female Scottish model that I can think of. But then just didn't turn up for stuff, just didn't, you know. I, and I didn't understand it. That pissed them off at model team and they dropped me. I can't have you being booked for stuff and not turning up. I was a bit upset, yeah, but I also, at that point, I just didn't care about anything. Like, I was honestly taking drugs every single day. The modelling world can also be a huge party world, and it's very easy to get swallowed up by that. I was in a bit of a toxic relationship as well, and that's kind of what brought the eating disorder on. I actually did a shoot. There were bikini photos and I was very gaunt and skinny looking in them and they got banned by advertising standards. So it was like quite upsetting. It's a part of this world that just disappoints me at times. We try to change it, we push girls, we, you know, there are certain clients that just want to see sample size girls and you say, no, I've got this incredible girl. You've got to see her. You know, you'll make the clothes the size that she is and she's still tiny. That's the, you know, that's, that's the crazy thing. It is difficult having those conversations with girls, especially when you do see some girls come in and you think you've not maybe been eating properly, you've definitely been starving yourself. I have those conversations daily in the agency and it's not fun. I just thought, like, this is just part of the job description. You just be as skinny as you can possibly be. You go into castings and you're in a room with 50 of the most beautiful women in the world, like, and you already have low self-esteem. Of course you're going to look at them and compare yourself. You really do have to be in the right headspace. I found it really difficult when I was in Asia because every model was so stick thin and they were so tall and I was a bit more curvy. And there was times where I was like, oh no, this is, this is getting too much for me. I actually think I probably shouldn't do this anymore. Nothing is worth that much angst. In the past, I have had conversations with models and said, I just don't think this is for you. I just don't think it's for you. I think it has got better. And they're actually using women that are bigger and natural and embracing who they actually are. But I've not personally felt that yet. I still get scrutinized for my weight. Go ahead. It's a tough business. Don't become involved in it. Unless you can discipline yourself, it doesn't mean you have to starve yourself. It doesn't mean you have to not eat. You just have to have a healthy diet, healthy lifestyle. Seriously. So where did you go from there? Do you know what I mean? So I just started building myself back up again, slowly. She has been to the dark side. She's now back and she's in a much, much better place. It's still doing what she's doing and she looks incredible. I'm finally at a point in my life where physically and mentally I'm just the healthiest that I've ever been. I kind of thought, should I give it one more go?